Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the WL Toys 144001. Now I've heard a lot about this buggy, everyone praises how good it is, so I thought it was only fair that I actually get one for myself and see what all the fuss is about. Let's take a look. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, there is going to be a giveaway at 250 subscribers. I will be announcing when the uh, date is actually going to be to actually announce the winner. Uh, I will be doing that live. I will be setting up a live stream on YouTube to actually announce the winner. Uh, the winner will be picked at random. If you haven't already entered that, then I will leave a link in the description below. Head over to that video, leave a comment, and you will be in for a chance of winning the Dumbo RC X4. Okay, so I've actually already unboxed this. Uh, so in the box you do get a USB charger, a manual, a little cross wrench. Uh, I actually went for the package that gave me the two batteries instead of the one. So it does come with the standard 1500 milliamp 2S uh, LiPo. And uh, this package that I actually opted for does come with a 3000, uh, 3000 milliamp uh, 2S as well. Obviously you get your usual uh, two channel transmitter included as well and then the buggy itself. Okay so let's take a closer look at each of these items. Okay so taking a closer look you've obviously got the two channel transmitter. Now on the top this does say M2R Racing, I don't know if that means anything to anyone. It doesn't particularly mean anything to me, I think that's just a made up name, made up brand. Uh, but this, this transmitter is a M2R Racing two channel transmitter. Uh, it's your usual ready to run sort of radio it is only two channel uh, it does have uh, throttle dual rate and steering trim adjustment moving on to the batteries then so this does come included as standard a 1500 milliamp 2s and uh, in this instance I actually went for the upgrade package which would in, uh, which has included two batteries so the second one is the 3000 milliamp and that is also a 2s now both of these do come with Dean style connectors or a T plug connector if you like, and um, yeah, both of these are capable to uh, both of these are compatible. Sorry, to be charged with the uh, included USB charger. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the buggy itself. Okay, so taking a look at the buggy then. So this does come with a 60 amp uh, brushed ESC, a 550 sized brushed motor, and uh, all metal chassis, obviously, which is very very nice. One of the things I like most about this is the actual metal chassis and also the oil filled shocks are very very nice on this. The initial feel of this does feel very very nice, it's not too heavy but it does have some good weight behind it. So guys obviously this does come ready to run, pretty much everything required to actually run this vehicle does come included in the box. Uh, all you're going to need to do is stick 4A batteries in the transmitter, charge up the LiPo batteries that come with it or the single LiPo if you, bought the, if you went for the normal version and um, pretty much head out and have some fun with it. Okay, so this is pretty much my very first Banggood vehicle that I've ever brought. Uh, I've only ever gone for the usual brands. I've never ever gone for a Banggood special. Uh, the only reason I actually have now is because a lot of people do praise these and say how good they actually are. So I thought, do you know what? Why not take a risk on one and see how it is? If everyone's praising them, saying how good, these can be uh, how capable they are and you know some people have even put 3s through these upgraded the transmission and the gearing and had some serious speed out of these okay so I was actually spoiled for choice in this instance I could have gone for the a959 B or the uh, 144001 and I actually went for this uh, I do think this does look like the better model uh, I believe it's slightly bigger as well and um, yeah, I, I really do like this and I'm hoping we can have some serious fun with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get this set up and ready to go. And then I'm going to try it out in the back garden to begin with. Uh, I didn't even expect this to actually turn up today. It surprised me. I have had this on order for about a month and it has taken its time to come. So I was very surprised that it actually turned up today. So I wasn't expected to actually make a video with this today because I wasn't even aware of it actually turning up. So um yeah, I don't actually plan on going too far today, but I will try this out in the back garden. Uh, my little boy is actually with me as well, so we'll, we will have some fun. Uh, he's really into the RC stuff now. He's really uh, starting to come on board, so I am looking to obviously get him involved as soon as I can. Uh, he's only two at the moment, so you know he's not really capable of driving anything such as this or the other models that I do have. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can't wait. As soon as he's capable, I will 100% get him on board 
and it would just be really nice actually getting the family involved. Okay, so let's take a look and see how this thing actually performs. Everybody meet Rebecca, she doesn't seem too pleased. Oh dear. <laughs> What you got there? <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, obviously, that's the first time I've actually driven this particular car. Um, I have to say I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very, very pleased. Uh, and to be honest, you know, it's the most fun I've had with an RC for quite a while. Obviously, I do have the Granite, the Triton, the TRX4. You know, I have... Uh, I've got the 4S Strada as well. Now don't get me wrong, they're all great trucks. There's just an ele element of fun that you can have with a smaller RC that you can't have with the bigger RCs. Uh, I appreciate that they are, you know, sort of one temp scale. They're not one ape scale or anything like that. But I think especially when you're running in your back garden or, you know, somewhere where there's limited space, having an RC of this sort of size, you know, you can have a lot of fun with it. So would I recommend one? Um, yeah, do you know what, I actually would. I mean, one of my concerns was if this was to break, would I have to wait two weeks, three weeks or four weeks for the parts to actually turn up from China uh, through Banggood? 
Uh, I mean, I have said it before in my previous videos, when one of my RCs breaks, I do want to get it repaired as soon as possible. I don't want it sitting on a shelf for weeks on end, and I don't want it to be out of action. So, you know, this is pretty much the reason why I have always gone for a branded RC, because I know the parts are always going to be available, and I can get hold of the parts quite quickly. So I can't remember who it was, but one of my Instagram followers actually did tell me that there is another company that shares pretty much the similar sort of chassis layout and uh, you can actually use the upgraded parts from them and they do actually fit on this. So that's definitely something I will be looking into if I decide to do some more upgrades on this. So if you are a little bit like me and you are concerned about uh, parts availability, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. You know, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to track down whatever you need here in the UK or USA or wherever you are watching this video today. I'm pretty sure you're not going to have a problem tracking down the parts for this. So don't let that put you off uh, actually getting one. So I'm actually looking forward to doing some upgrades on this. Uh, I probably will upgrade the motor and ESC and uh, maybe even do something slightly crazy with it. I'm not too sure yet, it is early days. You know, this did only turn up on my doorstep today. So I will start looking into uh, future upgrades. And then obviously uh, I will be doing some more videos on it as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below. And uh, if you have any future suggestions for the channel, then as always, feel free to either drop me a message on Instagram or again, drop a comment down below. I'm always open to ideas. I'm always open to listen to what uh, my followers want or my subscribers want to see on the channel. So um, yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there today. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.